all the urbanists out there right now we are driving through Athens which is known as one of the more hectic places to drive through in all of Europe I'm Ariel this is urbanist and right now I'm with my friend Christos hi everybody who's been the urbanist for the longest time and we are driving through Athens to go outside of Athens uh, but I wanted to give you a glimpse of how it is to drive through this very hectic city uh, where there's always traffic. Luckily, traffic at the moment is light. Uh, we're lucky. But here we are bordering the neighborhoods of Pix, Metz. And I think we're close to Syntagma, about 10 minutes away from Syntagma Square. And we are heading towards a monastery right now. Uh, and what is the monastery we're going so, to? So, the monastery we are going to visit, it's the holy monastery of Kesariani mm. on the slopes of the mountain of Imitus. Imitos oh. in Greek. Imitos so, here, we are heading Imitos. there. We have a little bit of traffic at the moment and we have to be careful <laughs> on the road. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Because people make multiple lanes. Sometimes the, the motorcyclists go in the middle between cars yes, like this yes. guy. And this guy is balancing eggs on the back. <laughs> that is very impressive. If you want to ever drive motorcycle in hard mode, this man is doing it. Oh my god, the eggs. <laughs> just, Imagine you, if they fall, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what if they fall into us? <laughs> welcome, Lori. Welcome, Oleg. Welcome, Kay. Welcome, everyone. Uh, we see the tram tracks as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the, we have the Panas stadium. Panasmaikon Stadium coming along soon which is awesome here's the bus the buses still use overhead wires here welcome welcome everyone right now we are in Athens let me know where you're watching from these are the buses here For some reason they use overhanging wires I'm entirely sure I heard from a few Athenians that it's a very antiquated system and they wish they would just uh, get rid of them. Though there's also trams around here as well. And we are right by the big park in the middle of Athens, right behind Sintagma Square. And oh, on the other side is all the embassies. And hello, Matthew. Morning, Susie. Yeah, here we're about to see the stadium. How do you say in Greek? Mm. Mm. Very beautiful. Huge. It's so nice the weather over here, all the weather's amazing. So there we go, hectic Athens driving. And I can't believe that there's so many polycatequias, apartment buildings, all around these major roads. Yeah, everywhere. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Susie from Scotland. Nicole. Right now it's a nice 74, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Low wind, a bit hazy, a bit humid. And one interesting thing is for some reason the gas stations sometimes are right underneath apartments. Apparently it is the gas station owners that usually live right above it. But usually it's not this warm, right? No, no. it's not uh, the usual weather for uh, November. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oleg says, great weather for a uh, ride. Yeah, I mean, clear skies. This is what I love about Athens. 300 days of sun on average throughout the year. It's a very, very sunny city. I only saw rain once uh, this trip so far. Oh, 
here there's actual trees. It's rare to see yes. trees in the middle of the city. So, so Athens is one of those tricky cities that a lot of the buildings, the architecture looks the same almost throughout the entire city. We're seeing what's called polycatequias, which are these apartment buildings that were built in mass uh, and you, uh, from about the 1950s to about the 1980s. Uh, and they all have pretty much the same type of architecture throughout. So it's a little bit hard to distinguish between the neighborhoods. But I think the more you visit Athens, the more you'll get acquainted with these neighborhoods. What neighborhood should we be right now? I'll let, let you me, concentrate, let don't me worry. Yeah, don't worry. Yes, we are uh, in Kesariani. Kesariani. Kesariani neighborhood. Oh, there we go. Yes. Nicole, we are heading towards a cool monastery that you might see in the short video. And uh, Christos was so kind to prepare all the history facts, which is awesome. <laughs> so around the parts of Christos. Uh, you might recognize Christos. He appeared on a live video a few, uh, two years ago. Uh, we explored uh, Glyfada, uh, which was a very nice area of Athens. Actually, gorgeous area. Highly recommend people visiting if you come to Athens, go to Glyfada. Would you? Uh, we have more fun if you found a Greek hell's angel angel to give you a back. Uh, so Gary's saying it would be nice for you to find a Greek motorcyclist to give me a ride. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the, the eggs, yes. eggs behind, yeah. Susie says it sounds just like Scotland. Ah, it's a, it's a bit different yes, from Scotland. Yeah, of course, the same, <laughs> the same thing, <laughs> like Scotland. I think uh, if you had more Malacas, <laughs> yeah, Mal <laughs> and I think you'll get Scotland. Here we have a typical cafeño. Yes, so with all the, the grandpas outside. <laughs> usually the older papus hang out papus, there. Papus, yeah. And Matthew says, are you in the smart car? Oh my God, Matthew, <laughs> how could you tell? Not oh, only a smart car, a cabrio one. <laughs> a cabrio one? A cabrio one, What does yes. that mean? An open, it has oh, it's a convertible. Oh, oh convertible. convertible. Yes. Yeah, 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 it's open. So we can breathe in the nice carbon dioxide of all these cars. Ah, <sighs> gasoline. <laughs> hey, Oleg says, glad to see Athens has improved in the last decades. Yeah, Athens used to be very smoggy. Uh, much darker skies. It has uh, improved significantly. Susie says, grab a coffee to go. We're, uh, yeah, soon. We're very tempted. Kristoff says, great weather. Greetings from a cold and rainy Berlin. It's going to be hard for me to going back to cold, rainy New York after being here in Athens in perfect weather. And uh, Brian, a few days ago, said uh, he lives in Chicago, of course, yeah. I didn't mention that. And he said uh, that uh, it was snowing three days ago in Chicago. It's already snowing, yeah, and yes. heavily. And everything's very frozen as well. Are there trees everywhere in the streets, says Ludo? No, generally not. No, not everywhere. In the city center of Athens, it's difficult to find trees. But uh, especially in the suburbs, it's more easy to spot trees. Yeah, because there's areas like in Vula, yes. which is very filled with trees. Vula, Vulahmeni, Glyfada, suburbs. Mm. And Matthew, yes, we are in a smart car, convertible, driving through. Uh, cars here, vehicles just tend to be smaller in general in Europe compared to American vehicles. And then here in Europe, they have very small cars, which are these smart cars. The reason why we have uh, small cars is uh, because the fuel is expensive. It's not like in oh. the US uh, that uh, costs around five dollars uh, per gallon. The yeah. gallon. Here, uh, per liter, we're paying two euros, two and, and a half. 
if you go to an island like Mykonos, you're gonna pay for the liter two and a half euros per liter, not per gallon. The gallon contains five liters, I think, or four. Oh, wow. Yes. So you're paying like about three times more. Yes. And wow. that's why uh, we are using small cars, like uh, the Smart 2 I have. Oh, and the Las Skodas as well. Oh, that makes a lot of sense when people are just saving yes. gas money. It is very expensive. So, uh, we can see in the distance, yeah. at the distance, see the mountain we're gonna visit, where the monastery is. And the antennas up there. Yeah, the you famous antennas. Yes, yes, the famous antennas. Uh, Ireland. Are you saying that's more than Ireland? Yeah, well, Scotland has a lot of access to fuel in, in the UK. I'm not sure what the where Ireland gets its fuel. But I'm not sure why Greece is so expensive. Oh, here we have... What is this? Mini Cooper. Oh, that's a Mini Cooper, yeah. This is in England, yes. Oh my god. But I'm not this. sure. If someone uh, can search about the designer and tell us, yeah. it would be perfect. Yeah, do tell us. I'm very curious to see that history. Well, you know, a lot of uh, Greeks, similar to Italians, sometimes are appalled by pineapple on pizza <laughs> until I tell them that this great invention was made by a Greek Canadian. Really? <laughs> yes, in Winnipeg. The pineapple on pizza? Yeah, pineapple on pizza. Yeah. I really didn't it's know. It's a Greek Canadian uh, using Puerto Rican pineapples <laughs> and calling it Hawaiian pizza. And uh, Nicole and Gary says parking spaces haven't changed much. No, here in Greece, you know, people tend to park anywhere, everywhere. And sometimes you'll see a lot of motorcycles parked right along the street. Sometimes people dare to park their vehicles on the street. Right, it's common. Sometimes uh, reminds me India. I have seen India in the YouTube videos. On YouTube videos. Yeah. And, uh, yes. Reminds the Greece reminds uh, India. I think we see all the motorcycles. I but think, yes. I think maybe aside from Eastern Europe. This is probably the closest to India in Europe. <laughs> in the yeah, EU. Yeah, yeah. Ludo says, what's the speed limit? What's the speed limit? The speed limit uh, for the moment that we are driving inside the city, it's around 30 to 40 kilometers. That's yes. slow. Yes. But people are not always following that. Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All over the world, uh, they, they <laughs> yeah. are not following the rules. Well, it depends on, if you go to Denmark or Germany, they're more... Or Denmark, for example, they're more strict, they do follow it. says it's getting greener yeah the further uphill you go in Athens the greener it gets there's a few great neighborhoods called uh, Kifisia it's amazing uh, for greenery in the big city and then here we're seeing a cemetery get snow on top when uh, uh, sometimes yes uh, the last two years yes they had snow oh. 
Oleg says, my wife likes pineapple pizza. I find it improper. Another argument point in my spousal life. <laughs> By the way, I don't like pineapple pizza, really. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very low support here in Greece. My aunt, in, my aunt in Poland makes pineapple pizza and every time I eat it, it's, it's uh, disgusting. I don't know why. <laughs> you take out the pineapples. <laughs> Your grandma is a good cook then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to be careful and not get to my aunt watching the video because... Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Christos loves pineapple pizza too. Yeah. We'll say this in Polish so <laughs> your family can hear so, it. So now we are entering the Imitus mountain where yeah. the monastery is located. The monastery it's, uh, oh. it's not a lot but what? about 800 yes. feet so it's almost 60 stories, 70 stories tall. California. Have fun in Greece, Mr. Antenas and after to the monastery. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Let's, huh? try that. Let's try that. Let's yeah. go to Antenas and up there. I mean, we'll be right next data, to massive yeah. antennas that cause radiation to the human body. So <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> we won't stay up there too long. But. Oh my, I almost slept through this. And be careful, there's a bed. Yes, yes. We, we went from very hectic Athens to very nice and calm Athens. Goes to show how big the city is. When the, the year changed, at the... We visited Stavros Nyarchos Foundation. Sta Stavros? Stavros Nyarchos Foundation. Nyarchos. Let's, see, let's see if we can get lucky. So yeah, we visited this beautiful foundation. Maybe near 800 feet. 
around there, 900 feet. This mountain is fairly high, so I think we're going pretty high. We'll find out when we uh, are parked. Nicole says the landscape with all the cypresses are beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous up here. Lots of uh, walking trails were passing by. There was a monastery right in front of us. Or, I mean, uh, a church. Oh, cool. There's someone watching as well. Yes, because we are afraid of uh, the fires. fires. Especially in summertime. Yeah, that makes sense. Gentlemen of Athens, right before our eyes. I'm so happy that Christos is a quiet driver. <laughs> because when I have, when I go with very talkative drivers, I get so nervous. <laughs>
Don't don't drive too bad. Yeah. Right. It's safe here? It's yeah. safe. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We can fly from here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> a cool adventure, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how you do it driving up here. <laughs> so, like, I, I'm generally not afraid of heights, but driving so close to the edge, ooh, crazy. So, uh, we're 2,000 meters. 2,000 meters. What's the name of this mountain? The uh, name of the mountain is called Imitos in Greek, and in English we can say Imitos. 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 Yes. Oh, and the, yeah, the antennas are right there. The antenna, yes. It's a famous lookout point. A lot of people take photographs up there. Can't stay up there too long because there's radiation. And then, behold! <laughs> Man, I cannot believe we went from crazy hectic Athens to up here yes. in 20 minutes. That is crazy. Let me know if you can still see me and hear me, ladies and gentlemen. I think we should be having good service. Uh, <laughs> Nicole says I would be nervous to be the front seat passenger. I'd prefer to drive myself. <laughs> Luckily, Christos is a very good driver, uh, so he's not distracted. And Oleg says, be like Daedalus, not like Icarus. What? Be like Daedalus. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say Daedalus in uh, Greek, but... I read the note. Yeah. The legend of Icarus while flying to the sun. His father stayed, yes, yes. stayed, stayed close. So he says that's 1.2 miles. Uh, yeah, let us know. It's about three, four, we're close to 4,000 feet in height, maybe 3,000. Yeah, close to 4,000 feet in height. Wow, we got so very high. Everyone can agree. Yeah. That, uh, Athens has everything. Yeah. We have mountains. Let's see. Uh, Acropolis, of course, the ancient uh, ruins and stuff. And uh, I think it's one of the best places someone can uh, move and live for, the, for uh, the rest of his life. Yeah. Yes. Because you even so, have islands nearby as well. Yes, the islands. We have everything. Yes. So. It's right. It's right. We do have everything. And then um, look down there. We see the Acropolis. Let me zoom. In. No, the Acropolis looks so tiny from this perspective. And down there we have uh, Piraeus, the famous port that leads all the way to all the islands. Mykonos, Santorini, Agina, Paros, Paxos. And then we see the other mountains, which you said there's casinos up in these mountains. Yes. Yeah. Mika says that's what call, I call a view. Oh yeah, I am stunned to see this view. I did not expect it to be this pretty. And then uh, over there we've seen Mount Likavetus uh, is looking tiny as well, right here. And we are seeing other, the other hills. There's about seven hills here in Athens. It's eerily similar to the seven hills of Rome. Eerie similar to the Seven Hills of Washington, D.C. Uh, there's a, for some reason, there's a lot of cities around the world that have Seven Hills. And then this is surrounded by mountains. So it's almost like a valley. And then we have a viewer that tunes all the way from Northern Athens. I'm not exactly sure where, but everyone wave hello to Maria. <laughs> yeah, we have a viewer that's been tuning in for a very long time. Ron says no skyscrapers. They're starting to build skyscrapers right here, this area. That area, um, it's above Kulunaki. Do you remember the name? Uh, say it again. Where the skyscrapers are located. Ah, where, yes. Uh, no, I don't uh, remember the name. But the it's it's right above uh, Kulunaki. So so it's that area, and I explored that with my friend Evan last time in the summer so look back it's a very cool area and then around the bend of this mountain we would see Elenico I think we'll see it in the other side uh, I don't think we can see Elenico from here yes. you, you don't think so no oh, interesting uh, uh. because uh, it's the mountain but we don't it, have the yes if we were to go on the other side of the mountain would it on the other side yes not but that uh, we're gonna do it but <laughs> 
uh, we don't have a road that goes to the other side from right here I see. at the moment. But yeah, Elenico is now a uh, used for. It's, it's called the Athenian Riviera, yeah. It's gonna call and you're gonna see the first major skyscrapers over there in Athens, much taller than the ones that you're seeing over here. Let me. Uh, hey, let me know if you see me and hear me, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oleg says, "Great views. I like to have it oh, as my laptop on the wallpaper." Yeah. So right now we're about four thousand feet high. We are nearly. 3.5 Empire State Buildings high. That's quite a lot. Is there a restroom? Uh, says Ron. <laughs> no, you have to. Yeah, yeah it's everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, you can see it. everywhere. Everywhere is a restroom, yeah. <laughs> so if you have any, we'll stick around for five minutes. If you have any questions for me or Christos, Christos is a longtime local uh, to Athens. He is in a nearby area called Glyfada, uh, which we explored before. Um, so if you have any questions for us, feel free to ask. Uh, Kay says, nature is your restroom. Nature is indeed your restroom. Yeah. You can brush up. Well, these are a bit sharp, so don't brush up against these. <laughs> oh, here, here we are. This is, I think this is what's called uh, cowboy's toilet paper. A mountaineer told me that when they explored Mount Parnassus. So apparently you can use that plant to, to wipe. Uh, Oleg says, uh, the main guy from Coldplay, but the poor guy trying to find a new stadium to play at. And Athens does not have too many. <laughs> so crossing fingers that they still play. And uh, down there you can yeah. see these buildings. There is the National and Capodistria University of Athens. Ah. Yes. Some of uh, its departments. Yeah. Right down there, yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like a huge center that they built. Yes. It's interesting because if we were in the different if we were in Mexico, there would be houses all around here. Because people build in the mountains in a city like Mexico. And Puerto Rico as well, but here not too much. Is there? A, yeah, I wonder if there's any laws that prevent people from building in the mountains. We have yeah. laws, but uh, every year, unfortunately, with uh, the wildfires in yeah. the mountains. Oh, that's another reason. Yes, yeah, yeah. everyone, uh, everyone's. Uh, if someone has a house on a mountain, yeah. and the uh, the mountain catches fire, they lose the house and uh, they are complaining. To the, to the about the laws and stuff like this, and they want money after to rebuild their houses. Mm. Yes. And uh, Oleg said, I uh, missed the answer. So Christos in essence said uh, that he wouldn't live in the center of Athens necessarily because it's crowded. The conditions uh, sometimes are rather poor in terms of the quality of buildings. And then um, traffic can be really hectic. Air quality. Air quality as well. So everyone, one more time, beautiful Athens. I'll give you one more pan around. Show you a little bit of the mountains here. Marina says, Europe is so overpopulated. I mean, Europe has twice the population of America. It's about the same size. Uh, but there's still empty spaces in Europe. So room to grow. Wow. Yeah, gorgeous. So everyone, one more time, Athens from this point of view, I find the city to be very beautiful. Um, it's not, not everyone has that opinion. A lot of people think it's an ugly gray concrete landscape. I find the beauty in this gray concrete landscape. I think uh, there's something charming about it. There's a lot of that architecture all around, but I don't know, the city just sprawling in this valley, almost like if it were a river overflowing around the valley. Uh, surrounded by these mountains and the sea, uh, to me, is just stunning. And Nasi says, is that uh, Salamis Sea? It is the ba Battle of Salamina. 
happened in this general area in the sea, which was the battle that was after the Battle of Thermopylae with the 300 Spartans. So Christos, thank you so much for uh, driving it's us all pleasure. the way up here. It's my pleasure. Uh, on our own. Uh, stay tuned for l more live videos around the world. And thank you so much for watching. Round of hearts to Christos for showing me around from the hectic Athens all the way to the peaceful Athens in just 20 minutes. It's impressive. Everyone keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a great day, everyone. And now we do a wave goodbye if you want to join me. Bye-bye, everyone.